Supernova, new free, AI Coder is insane. Today, I'm going to show you a brand new AI Coder that just dropped. It's completely free and it's beating some of the biggest names out there. This thing can see images, write code, and build entire apps in seconds. I tested it on four tough coding challenges and the results will blow your mind. Plus, I found proof this mystery model might be from one of the biggest AI companies. So here's what happened. A new stealth model just launched across multiple coding platforms. It's called Code Supernova, and nobody knows who made it, but I did some digging and found some wild evidence about who's really behind this thing. This isn't just another AI model. This is a multimodal reasoning model that can handle images and has a massive 200,000 token context window. That's huge. Most models cap out way lower than that. And here's the crazy part, it's completely unlimited on platforms like Kilo Code, no throttling, no caps, just pure speed and power. But wait, there's more. This model has three different reasoning levels, low, medium, and high. So you can dial up the thinking power based on what you need. That's something only the most advanced models have. The focus here is on visual understanding. This thing can look at screenshots, diagrams, mockups, and turn them into working code. Imagine showing it a hand-drawn sketch and getting a full website back. Now here's where it gets interesting. I ran some tests to figure out what this mystery model really is, and the evidence I found points to one specific company. When I looked at the request logs, I found something called Numbum sources used in the output. This is exclusive to one company's API, Grok. That means this code supernova model is likely a bigger, better version of Grok's coding model. Think about it. Grok has been quiet on the coding front, then suddenly this anonymous beast model drops with all their signature features. It's not a coincidence. So I put this thing through four real world tests, the kind of challenges that separate good models from great ones. Test number one was building a movie tracker app. The results were mixed, but promising. The app looked amazing, great design, clean interface, all the features you'd want, but there were some issues. The movie container overflowed from its div. Not great for user experience. Worse, it loaded every single movie without any limit. That's a memory killer, an API spammer. You can't ship something like that to real users. When I compared it to Claude Code, Claude won on usability. Claude's UI might not be as pretty, but it works perfectly on the first try. That matters more than looks. Test number two was a calculator with a specific UI framework. This is where things got rough. The model completely failed at aligning elements properly. The calculator looked broken and unusable. That's a hard fail on this test. But test number three brought some redemption. I asked it to edit an FPS game and add a step counter plus a life bar that changes when players jump. This generation was awesome. The model crushed it with game development. Previous Grok models were decent at this, but Supernova is much better. The UI could be slightly improved, but it worked perfectly in one shot. That's impressive for game logic and mechanics. However, Test 4 revealed a major weakness, long, complex tasks. I asked it to edit a large code base and add an SVG generation modal. This is where Supernova completely broke down. The model started glitching hard, it kept saying, let me check over and over. Eventually, Kilo Code itself detected the glitching and stopped the generation. I've seen this exact behavior with Grok Code Fast before. Long generations make it unstable and unreliable. That's a serious problem for real world use. So where does this leave us? Supernova is good, but not great, yeah? For simple to medium tasks, is fast and capable. The multimodal features are genuinely useful. Being able to show its screenshots and get working code is powerful but the reliability issues hold it back. When it works, it's impressive. When it doesn't, it fails hard. I'd still recommend other models like Claude for serious work. They're more stable and consistent, but Supernova is worth keeping an eye on. The speed alone makes it interesting for quick prototypes and experiments. And if the team behind it fixes the glitching issues, this could become a real contender. Here's what I think is really happening. This is Grok's play in the coding space. They've been behind on AI coding compared to OpenAI and Anthropic. This anonymous launch lets them test their technology without the pressure of a big announcement. The multimodal capabilities suggest they're building something bigger. Most coding happens with visual references now, screenshots, designs, mockups. An AI that can see and understand these is the future, right? But let's talk about what this means for you. If you're just starting with AI coding, this is a great free option to experiment with. The unlimited usage on platforms like Kilo Code means you can test without worrying about hitting limits. For professionals, it's worth trying, but keep your main tools ready. The glitching issues make it unreliable for important projects. The visual features are where this shines though. If you work with designs, mockups, or need to debug visual issues, Supernova could save you tons of time. You can use it through Kilo Code, Ruklin, or Open Code. 
Just install the platform you prefer and look for the Supernova model option. Kilo code is probably the easiest to start with. Just install it, select Supernova from the model list, and you're ready to go. Now, here's something crazy I noticed during testing. The speed difference is insane. While other models take 30 to 60 seconds to generate complex code, Supernova does it in 10 to 15 seconds. That's a game changer for productivity. But speed isn't everything. I've seen fast models that produce garbage code. What matters is the quality combined with speed, and that's where Supernova gets interesting. The visual understanding feature is what sets it apart, though. I showed it a messy screenshot of a broken website layout. Within seconds, it identified the CSS issues and provided exact fixes. That's the kind of capability that saves developers hours of debugging time. This anonymous launch strategy is becoming the new normal in AI companies drop models without fanfare, let users discover them, and gather real feedback before official announcements. It's smart because it avoids the hype cycle and focuses on actual performance. But here's what's really wild about this whole situation. The timing of Supernova's release isn't random. We're seeing a massive shift in how AI companies compete. Instead of big flashy launches with demos that don't work in real life, they're going stealth. Think about it. When was the last time a major AI announcement actually delivered on its promises right away? Usually there's months of waiting, bugs, and disappointment. This stealth approach flips that completely. And there's another angle nobody's talking about. The name supernova itself is interesting. A supernova is when a star explodes and becomes incredibly bright before it dies. Is this Grok's way of saying their old coding models are dead and this is the explosion into something new? The unlimited access on multiple platforms also tells us something. This isn't a limited beta test. Someone invested serious money to make this available everywhere at once. That's not cheap. It signals they're confident in the technology and ready to scale fast. What's your take on these stealth launches? Are they better than the traditional hype cycle? Here's my honest assessment after extensive testing. Supernova is a solid addition to the AI coding landscape. Not groundbreaking, but definitely useful. The mystery around its origins creates interesting speculation. My money's on it being a Grok model based on the technical evidence. The speed and visual capabilities are its strongest points. The reliability issues are its biggest weakness. For free access and unlimited usage, it's worth trying. Just don't expect perfection yet. The AI coding space is evolving incredibly fast. Models that seem amazing today will be obsolete in months. Stay flexible, keep testing new options, and always have multiple tools in your toolkit. That's why I test everything and share the real results with you. Not the marketing hype, but the actual performance. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. About your experience with AI coding tools, my AI profit boardroom is the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. Want to make more money with AI? Welcome to the free AI money lab with Julian Goldie. Inside you'll get 50 plus free AI tools and 200 plus chat GPT SEO prompts. You'll learn how to make money with AI agents, 1000 plus free NAN workflows, 200 plus chat GPT prompts, and a full blueprint to generate thousands of leads free with AI. What you'll also get, free AI community, free AI course, proven AI case studies, that's where you'll find the real strategies for turning AI tools like Supernova into actual business results. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one where we dive even deeper into the latest AI developments that are changing everything.